Uh, hi guys, welcome to Football with Brownie. I hope you're all well, uh, keeping safe and keeping each other and your loved ones safe. Um, but as you can see, I'm out of hiding after that disastrous transfer window for me. Uh, I do have a mask on, but uh, Spanish law at the moment uh, says that I have to wear it basically at, at all times unless I'm in a bar or a restaurant. Uh, so, just wanted to, uh, a little bit of explanation really regarding my transfer window and, and definitely regarding the party deal. Uh, before I go any further, I'd like to say that congratulations to Arsenal. Uh, they have a fantastic player uh, with, uh, with party. Uh, but I'm not, <clears throat> as many people know, I paid money uh, to uh, a former work colleague uh, for the information regarding party. And I, I, you know what? I don't blame him. I don't blame him for giving me what was incorrect information because all he was doing was getting it from. Uh, you know, from Athleti. Obviously, I live in Spain, I get the Spanish side of things. But, Arsenal done an absolute, de uh, done a job on, um, on Athleti. So much so that Athleti was so, uh, was so confident that party was going to stay there, that even Diego Simeone, uh, uh, you know, come out and uh, and made comments, uh, you know, about about party not going anywhere. Um, I'm not I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really uh, one that follows Atleti, uh, but they deserve everything they get. The way in which um, the way in which. Uh, you know, they've, so, they've been puffing out their, their chest, giving it a big end with all the comments, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, for the last few months. Uh, they deserve everything they get. What I don't like, though, what I don't like is, is the way the party team have gone against it, uh, uh, you know, uh, gone with it. And that is what Athletic fans are really annoyed about. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Athleti brought Partey over from Ghana uh, in a, put them in a youth system and he went through the system so they basically uh, got his career uh, you know built uh, you know give him a career uh, in football um, and Athleti also furloughed his staff now when he furloughed his staff out here in Spain uh, as a football club the agreement was that uh, any player sales within his calendar year would then have to, you know, uh, you'd have to give the Spanish government 25% of that sale. So, Athletic fans were like, okay, listen, he's gone to a, a better wage and so on, but couldn't he have waited until January? And I, and I tend to agree with that. The reason I tend to agree with that is basically, you show some respect to the club in which uh, you should show some respect to a club in which, uh, you know, give you your career. So, he, because he kept quiet of his medical in Madrid and uh, kept quiet of, uh, of what he was going to do, uh, Party uh, cost Athleti that 25%. He could have just waited into January and then removed then. So he cost uh, part A 25, uh, cost Atleti 25% of the transfer fee. So that would be roughly, top of my head, if it was 50 mil, well, uh, what's that? 12.5%, uh, isn't it? So it's 12.5 million. He's, he's cost, he's cost him 12.5 million. Uh, you know, because he couldn't wait until January. On top of that, he didn't give Athleti uh, time to get a replacement in. I know Lucas Torreira has come in, but he's no, he's no, he's no, uh, uh, he's no Thomas Party, um, and he's coming on loan as well. Um, and 
basically it just shows the the, the, the mindset of footballers these days. That's all they care about it is, is money. Uh, and it, it's, you know, if anyone really thinks that a single footballer loves the club in which they play for, I'm sorry, they're living on, on cloud cuckoo land. Um, I've, al I've always said, ever since I, I worked for, you know, that agency, the football agency back, what, 10 years ago plus now, I've always said, you know, having having met footballers, uh, many footballers back in those days, but, you know, they, they just, uh, they just are uh, out for themselves. And on one hand, you can't blame them. It's a short career. But on the other hand, if, you know, uh, say, it's, the, it's just modern day football. Sometimes they make me sick. Uh, it's so, it's, this transfer, in my opinion, has been so devious. But I, on one hand, I like it because Athletic deserve what was coming to them. But on the other hand, you have to think, I don't think I've seen a, a, a worse, more devious uh, transfer than the likes of Paul Ince leaving West Ham to, uh, to Man United, or even Mo Johnston agreeing to go back to Celtic from Nantes, but yet he got to he, he went to Rangers. I think it's a disgraceful way of party, uh, party, party's party has acted on this. But you know, fair play to Arsenal. They deserve, they deserve a lot of praise from the Arsenal fans for doing this, uh, and they got their money at, at the end of it. Um, a lot of people. Oh, my arms aching. Uh, a lot of people will say. Well, a lot of people have been saying, oh, I'm a liar, I'm a liar, I'm a liar, but, but you know, for, for what, um, uh, you know, for me being so confident the party was going to uh, uh, stay at Atleti. But, you know, what you've got to realise is that I live in Spain. My, my, my former colleagues, I used to work in the media in Spain. My former colleagues are, in, are also in the Spanish media. And that was what we were getting from Atleti because Atleti was so confident. Now, if people can't understand that, then I'd rather you just unsubscribe. Um, you know, I'm quite happy to take the, uh, the L, quite happy to take the L on my, uh, uh, you know, on my forehead uh, for this. But some of the remarks have been, been borderline and disgusting, if I'm honest with you. You know, I don't have I'm not the one who has a pen and paper chasing the, chasing the player down the street to sign the contract. So, I just wanted to say that, really. Um, you know, my, my, my thought in life is that everything's 50-50. It either happens or it doesn't, you know. Uh, but um, anyway, I'll leave it there. I, if you like what I say, like what I do, please like, share and subscribe. Um, and uh, and we'll take it from there um i hope you have a great day uh and please share the love and uh take care of your uh, take care of your loved ones and take care of yourself take care